Hello! Forgive the grainy quality of my video. I'm recording this on my computer. My phone is overloaded with photos and videos that I need to clean out. So here we are. I wanted to record this while it's still fresh in my mind and body. My client just a little bit ago had the quintessential integrating your inner child experience. So I wanted to share a real life example of how this process works and give it a little more tangibility so you might feel into if it would benefit you as well. My client came to me with an issue involving work. She is a superintendent at a school and she often deals with parents that are disgruntled or hysterical. It's kind of part of the job sometimes. And today this happened. A mom came in, she was quite hysterical about something. She was sobbing, pretty much inconsolable in moments. My client calmed her down and right when they were about to wrap things up, her boss had sent a colleague to come in to help her. My client perceived this as some kind of maybe needing to save her or that she couldn't do her job properly, something like that, right? Where she ha she felt like she had to hold her tongue, something like that. So she wasn't triggered by the mom's behavior, but she was triggered by her boss and colleague's behavior. She was thinking maybe there was some kind of conversation that needed to happen with her colleague or her boss. And we we're just trying to clarify like exactly what that was. And that's what I was thinking too. But when we actually dove into the body, she felt this sensation of, it was hard to describe. So sensations are not always easy to describe, but it felt something like holding her tongue and then feeling frozen. And so I just asked if this feeling had an age attached to it, what age would it be? And the immediate answer that came up for her was 13. So I said, well, how would you be with a 13 year old that feels this way, that feels frozen, that feels like she's being denied her ability to speak? How would you be with her? And she sat with it for a moment. It's not always an immediate answer that comes up, especially when we're dealing with these more difficult sensations that often we try to ignore or push away or fix. It takes some time to kind of be present with it. And so as she was just being present with this 13 year old part in her, she noticed what would, what would help this 13 year old frozen part start to warm up start to thaw. And she noticed that just giving her a hug, she didn't even have to say anything. And this started helping that 13 year old part feel unfrozen slowly without forcing it, without trying to fix it, without wronging it, it just, just being present with it. And then all of a sudden she realized that what actually triggered her was something she hadn't shared with me earlier in the session. When her colleague came in to help her, she just came up to the mom and said something like, sweetie, What's going on? Something like that. I can't remember exactly. And the mom just went into her arms and just started sobbing. So this colleague just acknowledged the humanity in this mom that she just needed someone to hold her or to ask her what's going on or to listen. And that's that's a whole other thing in a lot of professional environments that's not acceptable, right? You have these professional boundaries where you don't cross that as a professional. That's a whole other topic. <laughs> but what triggered my client in this is that her colleague offered her that humanity and she offered her that consoling and being held and just being seen. And it brought up this memory of my client when she was young that her mother never did that for her. And then she realized that sensation in her body that what got triggered was actually her longing to be more like that or her longing for her mother to have done that for her, but it didn't happen. So she gets to work with this part in herself where she can reparent in combination with the work with me or if she's seeing another therapist or anything like that, any other kind of inner work. But she gets to grow up that 13 year old part and be held right that 13 year old part gets to be held now and then as soon as you be with that sensation in this way it starts shifting so she started noticing that part was warming up it wasn't so frozen anymore it was feeling loved it was feeling seen and often that's most of what we all need especially in our most difficult moments i just wanted to illustrate this because it was such a prime example and honestly for her to link this instance at work all the way back to that 13 year 
15-year-old part of herself, maybe 30 years ago, 40 years ago. That takes some people years to recognize that link. It was a huge gift for me to be able to facilitate that. Honestly, my heart just felt so cracked open. I was just like elated for her. I was trying not to like sound too happy because I'm holding this space for her, but I know that sensation in recognition like, oh my God, that's where that feeling is coming from. And then it gets liberated in the body. It gets freed up and then that energy is no longer frozen at 13 years old. It gets to be integrated with the adult you now. It could just be more vitality, but it could also go towards some creative expression. There is still time to sign up for the Embodied Inner Child program starting October 25th. I'm really excited to share this technique with you. It's very simple, profound, and incredibly healing. If you have any questions, please reach out. If you watch this after the program is offered, please also reach out because we can do the same exact work one-on-one -on -one like I do with many of my clients. Please subscribe below. I really appreciate your engagement.